Namaste. So today I'll be demonstrating a standing asana called Prasarita Padottanasan. Yes, Prasarita, I'll split the words, means uh, stretching with your limbs, your lower limbs, outstretched limbs. Pada means foot, uh, Ut means stretch, uh, intense, sorry, Ut means intense, Tan means stretch, Uttan means intense stretch, Asan means a posture. So Prasarita, uh, stretching with outstretched limbs, Pada means foot, Uttana, intense stretch, Asana means posture. So please avoid this posture if you have high blood pressure, uh, you've just had a recent abdominal surgery and severe lower back problems. However, the benefits of this posture are very good. What I like about this posture is it challenges both strength as well as flexibility. It improves your posture. It improves the hip joint flexibility. If you need to sit on the floor, I like this posture uh, because it can be also done at the end of a Surya Namaskar practice because the preparatory poses for this is a couple of Surya Namaskar practice like the downward dog, Adomukashwanasan, or the standing forward bend, Hastapadasan, and uh, Sukta Baddha Konasan, which is already on my channel. And uh, it stretches the lower limbs, especially your hamstring, glutes, calves, and... Uh, Whenever I'm driving on a long drive, I normally tend to, whenever I take a break, I get into this posture right in the middle of nowhere. But it's all about stretching your back because it relieves mild back pain if you're driving for a long time. You can even use your car and bonnet as a support if you're not able to reach the ground. So that's another alternative. Thanks to <clears throat> a couple of friends who had severe back problems coming back from a drive, uh, I got this idea to create this posture. I need to create a video for this posture. I think I've spoken enough. You can read the description below and I'll begin. Uh, so I'll show all variations. So you start with Tadasana, the standing mountain pose. And then I am almost five, six. So what I do is I try to go as per my height, close to five feet. If you're a little shorter, you can go between three and a half to four feet, depending on your height. And if you're a beginner, and if you have a rounded back, it's good to do it with a support because you're lengthening your spine when you go forward. And one good thing is if you can't do Shishasan headstand, this is like a semi-inversion. So that's the another, um, you can say beauty of this posture. So I've just kept my feet are totally grounded. Ensure you don't lose balance so your mat is very sturdy. Keep your hands on the hips as you begin with. As you inhale, you bend back slightly, arching your back. As you exhale, my knees are straight. As you can see, I'm using, mm -hmm. so suppose you have a chair. So this is your folded elbow and this is your beginner version. So you can start with this. Take five deep breaths. Ensure you're warmed up enough because I'm warmed up enough. I'm able to demonstrate. So this is your, you can also start with a little bit of cat stretch to get in to the posture. As you can see, my legs are stretched out and I'm just resting my head as it lengthen the spine, as it calms the brain. So this is like your half semi-inversion, the variation with the chair. This was one version. And when you come out, you come up slowly and then just get your legs. The second version, so I start again as I'm tall Ensure you're warmed up enough. So if you feel you need to just warm up, you can just make some hip circles or just start with plank, upward dog, downward dog, plank, upward dog. 
downward dog and slowly so that way you have even warmed up enough so i'm just going it's a lot on the work on the hip second version hands on the hips inhale a nice arch to the back exhale hands to the floor so if you feel the chair is still too high you can also use blocks so this is literally getting you down so you can see i can place my hands behind you can place with the elbow so this is another version and take five deep breaths remember if your back is rounded you need to do the chair version it's okay to have a micro bend in your knees so you can see taken a couple of breaths so you can always do an arch and round arch and round so i'm slowly removing the blocks literally going down not warmed up too much so this could be your version you can place your hands back front breathe let the legs shake that means it's a good sign of strengthening your lower limbs and when you need to come up slowly get your feet slight bend hands on the hips and up so it's a beautiful complete blood circulation also to the brain that's why it calms the brain and you can just rest maybe do some follow up postures and if you feel you have been practicing for a while watching my channel videos after the surya namaskar you can try to practice this with whatever version suit you and uh, as i said do watch read the benefits listed below in my channel and if somebody you think want to improve their hip flexibility they can uh, you can share this video uh, thank you namaste